All right, now that we got the Nag Champa rolling, I'm going to start it off. This is Ethan from Crow FM. Tuning in. This is Friday, April 1st, 2022. Welcome. I wanted to start off this episode telling a random story that uh, <laughs> that happened yesterday, actually. So there was a huge storm that happened. It wasn't a very long storm, but... It was a storm nonetheless, but uh, I stopped at a grocery store locally, and I come out of the store, and it's not like raining really bad. It's just kind of like sprinkling, you know? So uh, I start walking to the parking lot, and uh, I just see like a huge lightning strike right behind this movie theater off in the distance. And I'm like, oh, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait for a second. I'm just gonna uh, go underneath of this little embank- embankment. Um, I'm in the trenches. <laughs> um, it was uh, I went underneath of this kind of like tarp thing, this like ledge that uh, kept it so that I would stay dry. And I go underneath of this tarp of sorts and like as soon as I go underneath there the the rain just starts picking up and I'm like uh well okay so I start walking I I, like wait for like another minute or two and then I'm like okay I guess it's not really gonna let up just yet so I just start walking out and out of nowhere a huge lightning strike strikes down in the middle of the parking lot so I'm like nope You should have seen the skip, the skip that I did back under the embankment of sorts. (laughs) I was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to wait a little bit because I had to meet up with somebody in like a little bit to hang out for a bit. So I was like, oh, shoot, I'm just going to wait here. I text them. I'm like, yeah, I just saw a lightning strike happening like in the parking lot. So I'm going to wait like another minute or two until I head your way. So, uh. I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> so then uh, I wait for another minute or two, and then I'm like, all right, there's only one way I can do this. Like, I have to just send it. Because, like, if I s- I'm going to be staying in here for another, like, 10 minutes for waiting for this rain to let up, all this lightning around to just let up. So I'm like, okay. So um, I come up with a plan, right? This plan is I'm going to put on Backseat Freestyle by Kendrick Lamar because it'll keep me hype this entire time I'm walking out to the parking lot and being on my merry way. So that's what I did. Um, I'm still underneath of this tarp embankment thing. And I'm like, okay, I put my earbuds in, put on Backseat Freestyle by Kendrick Lamar, and it the, the beat drops right in. His, his, his vocals like drop right in as I'm like, I'm starting to peel away from this parking lot and let me tell you that 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 got me through it this entire time (laughs) and the entire time like it was like a whole movie because like this whole storm was still going on making my way to meet up with this person and uh (laughs) as soon as I arrived there like it wasn't that far away so um the song's like what three three and a half minutes something like that and as soon as I get there, like the this, like as soon as I, I like park, <laughs> the song just stops, and uh, yeah, <laughs> that was my uh, <laughs> that was my barely near death story, it, but it, it it was a character building moment, definitely. There's no doubt about that, and uh, I <laughs> I get there and I'm I'm telling these people about. The, the, my friends about these this story and the way I'm describing it is like yeah <laughs> I'm underneath of I forget what how I worded it whenever I was telling them this story but I was like yeah <laughs> I, I saw a lightning strike in the middle of the parking lot and <laughs> I don't want to mess around with uh <laughs> what was it God's electric karma dealings or something like that <laughs> Let's get into the episode, huh? Let's set, set the tone. 
uh, as the kids say these days. So last week, um, we started our discussion about dreams. And uh, there were a few things about dreams that I wanted to divulge deeper within. And I, one of them was lucid dreaming, which is a very interesting subject because there are people that I've seen like online that do this like a lot and they, they pull things out of, I guess I'll, before I get too deep into it, lucid dreaming is whenever you are aware that you're dreaming, like when you're dreaming and you're like, Oh, I'm dreaming. Most people like myself will just become overwhelmed. They're like, Oh shoot. I'm like dreaming right now. And then you just like immediately wake up. But there are people that, train themselves to actually explore in this realm of lucid dreaming. And uh, there are techniques to get into this lucid dreaming. I, I have I'm not I have no real interest in really diving deep into the lucid dreaming world, the astral world and uh, astral world. Um, yeah, we're not going to go any deeper into that, but yeah. There's an astral realm, okay? Astral plane, like the Flying Lotus song. Great freaking song. That was the song that really got me into Flying Lotus. Definitely look up, look into this song. Um, do, I think it's Do the Astral Plane. Welcome to, no, that's the, <laughs> that's Welcome to the Plastic Beach. And we're getting into that a little bit later. But yeah, the, um, <laughs> You can really get yourself trained to actually do this. I remember intentionally doing this, like, this is probably, like, 2015. I remember the one and only time I really tried intentionally doing going into it. Um, I was, like, laying on a couch in the living room. And basically, you just kind of lay there, and you just keep saying in your mind, I'm, I'm still awake. I'm staying awake. Yada, yada, yada. You can play this if you're trying to train yourself to do it, and I will, you'll get my voice in your head and be like, nah, 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 nah. or not. Um, but yeah, I was just like laying on this couch, and I'm like, so in my, in my mind, I'm like, oh, I'm awake. Uh, I'm awake. And you, I was doing that for like a good 10 minutes or so, and like after a while, it's kind of like you start, like, you know how, like, under your eyelids, like, colors start to, like, kind of appear in a way. That started to happen, but, like, that was happening for, like, a little bit. And then they say whenever you're trying to stay aware, like, in that manner, you're not supposed to, like, gulp or, like, swallow or something like that for some reason, I guess, that that's one thing that you're that they say you're not supposed to like like that or something um and there's also this one tip that i heard it was um they say yeah you can't like you'll start to feel these sensations all over your body because your body is testing to see if you're awake and if you ignore these i think it's like like tingling or like uh like it's tickling so you're like i forget where it was because it started to happen in this instance while i'm laying on this couch so i'm i'm laying there and i'm starting to get this tingle and i'm like oh shit i really want to i think it's an itch or like a I, i i forget but like you're supposed to i ignored it and i just after a while i i couldn't help it because your my throat just got like so dry i'm like oh geez I don't know what I'm really trying to explore here, but uh, I just got up and uh, went on a walk. Explore the uh, the physical realm. A little exploration of the physical realm. What a beautiful uh, night stroll it was, let me tell you. Very nice, very star, star, <laughs> star-filled sky and moon-filled uh, atmosphere. <laughs> Yeah, that was like the the one and only time I really tried to go into it. Yeah, that, that was the one and only time I tried lucid dreaming. You can try it for yourself. I mean, no, uh, by all means, definitely look on Google and see if there's a, a better method than trying not to swallow and avoiding tickles and 
all this because I'm sure there's people that do it like every day. Really a professional lucid dreamer exploring the astral plane. Yeah, it's due, it's due to the astral plane by Flying Lotus. 10 out of 10 recommend. Uh, the entire album, Cosmogramma, dude, I recommend this album. 10 out of 10. Very good. Um, that's what got me into Flying Lotus. Very, I think, yeah, they're, he's uh, the, the Mark Rebel, Re, Rebelet? Mark Rebelet. Re, 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 he does like a lot of looping online. Like you'll see videos of him. Like it, I think he's like in a robe or something like that. And he's kind of like swaying his head. He's where he will like wears glasses and stuff. And he's like really known for doing loops. Him and flying Lotus are doing their own, uh, their show together. I guess, um, Fl flying Lotus is being featured on Mark Rebelais new show. I forget what it's called. I saw it recently. He, uh, put an advert for that. Turns out this entire podcast is just a big uh, scheme to advertise for Mark Revelay's uh, new show that I do not remember the name of. Oh, shoot. I guess I couldn't. I mean, if you just Google Mark Revelay new show featuring Flying Lotus, you'd be able to find it pretty easily. And also, f if you have played Grand Theft Auto V, Flying Lotus has his entire, like if you're driving in a car and you can select which radio station that you want to listen to, he has his own radio station. Like it's all choreographed by him. He threw tons of his own songs onto there. Just You're basically exploring the astral plane while you're driving around Los Santos, having a wonderful time, having a ball. It is April 1st. Uh, that is no joke. Oh, God. Um, yeah, uh, 10 out of 10. Lucid Dreaming, for sure. Definitely look into it. It's a pretty interesting thing. They're different. Lucid Dreaming, I don't know. The distinction between exploring the astral plane and lucid dreaming, I, th I mean, your brain is basically creating the dream that you're exploring. Uh, it's a whole, a whole schematic, but... Dreams are a very interesting place to uh, explore your subconscious. That's what we discussed in the, f the past episode. Um, that's one of the theories about dreaming is that you, uh, your brain does... It, it, dreaming, a theory, is that your brain is categorizing the memories that you had throughout the day so it could file it away for later use to learn from it. And that, that's why dreams become what they are. Like something in your day could represent something that's happening in your dream that you are trying to work through. That it was might have been on your mind before you went to sleep. And uh, yeah, then your brain's like, oh, yeah, here, th 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 there's this, uh, there's this person I, 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 I've. Uh, it, this and that oh man that person really like oh shoot oh dang and then then you're having uh dreams about big monsters or there's a big dog or something like that i don't know you're thinking about that very uh special person and uh they they're being represented as a large uh what would that be like a symbol of that i'm gonna say just a a, a dove just like flying right in front of you. We're gonna, cause uh, we'll see what a dove, we're gonna look that up. On the off chance that there is something that I'm very interested to know. Um, I guess I could look up that Mark Rebelais, uh show, but first we're gonna look up what does a dove, Dove Cameron, what does a dove represent in a dream? I know it's, it, I remember like on the, I think it's like peace or something like that. Um, we're going to pull things out and see what I remember, what doves represent. I mean, like that happens at weddings, like they'll release doves from a box. And uh, that means that the love is set free or something like that, or Maybe at a funeral, 
because the soul is set free or something like that. What does a dream represent in a dream? Let's see. Dreams of doves being released predicts good fortune, calmness, and love. So yeah, that's kind of like what um, the flying fish represented. Good fortune. This is why doves are often released at a wedding. Dreaming of doves flying together symbolizes a successful and happy relationship with your romantic partner. You will have a life with little worry or sadness. So, if you have a dream in the near future about doves flying, might be better than uh, some airborne chum of sorts. Which, if I think about it, sounds like a pretty neat band name. Hey, a new band name, Airborne Chum? Oh. Hey, you never know. Before we move on to our next section with our guest of this episode, I would like to go into a few dream theories that we have pulled up that we can discuss even more in depth in the next episode. There's uh, one that says, Dreams are threat simulations that help prepare you when faced with threats in real life. So kind of like what I was just saying, how if some, uh, what's a good word for it? Hmm. Oh, what's that? Um. Dang. What's that song by... It's not Modest Mouse. I'm going to look it up. We're going to find this song before we move on. (laughs) I think... Oh, shoot. I know the song is... uh, Sleep Apnea? Yeah, Sleep Apnea. Beach Fossils. Okay, what's the song by Beach Fossils? We're going to figure this out. Um, It's another word for... Like... figure that that out um let's see let's go to go to the beach fossils go to artists the song is called it's from what a pleasure i think that's the name adversity adversity like the song from the beach fossils 10 out of 10 recommend recommend their song sleep apnea that was what got me into them. That's a song from 2013, I think it is. Uh, from What a Pleasure. Yeah, that's what it is. So yeah, you're, whenever you're dreaming, you're going through these adversities or potential adversities in the future, which usually aren't actually going to occur. But your brain is categorizing these things. And we'll go into that theory a little bit later down the line. But... The next theory that we have pulled up is Freud's dream theory, which is wish fulfillment. Manifest cont- content way dream is remembered. What is that? Manifest content way dream. Yeah, we'll do that one next time. Um, there's another dream theory by a man or a woman by the name of Hobson. Activation synthesis theory. Hmm goes against Freud. Oh, we are going to have a wonderful episode next week. And she, yeah, we'll go into that next week. (laughs) Um, She said, or they said, the emotion of the dream. Oh, beautiful. We are going to have a wonderful episode next week. Also, cognitive theory helps process information, solve emotional problems. Wonderful. So we got uh, threat simulations, wish fulfillment, activation synthesis theory. We'll go into that next week. And some process information solve emotional problems. I guess that's two different extra things. Help process information and solve emotional problems. So, yeah, get your sleep. Get that uh, REM. And then, yeah, we'll go into that next week, but sit back and relax as we have a wonderful conversation with your co-host and a very good friend of mine, Ron.